Hey everybody, quick video today. I uh, am doing a couple of different tests here, sort of. One is, this is the most recent release of Sim Update 10 Beta. This is version 1.27.13.0. So this is the latest that was released a couple of days ago to the beta testers. And so far, I'm liking it. I did not experience any of the crashes prior to this update, which part of this update fixes, so I can't say whether or not it resolved that because I didn't have those. Um, performance seems a bit improved, seems a bit smoother. Now, it may look a little dark. I am using the Open XR Toolkit, and I have the two, uh, sunglasses enabled right now, so that's why it may look a little bit dark to you. This is the Newport 17, a single-seat, single-engine biplane produced by a French aviation company. First flew in January of 1916 and was introduced just two months later in March entering combat in World War I. Outstanding maneuverability, powerful engine, and machine guns on it, and they are functioning. Um, I don't have a button uh, map to it yet, but I could reach up and actually pull the triggers with the mouse. The uh, plane was mostly used in France, and so this is big radios. I just purchased this one, and I'll probably do a full review on it at some point, but so far it's really, really a nice plane. Cruise speed of about 85 knots, max altitude of actually 17,000 feet, a uh, good range of almost, almost uh, 470 nautical miles for the range. So very, very nice little airplane here. And the airport that I just took off from is Old Rhinebeck, Rhinebeck, New York, NY94. It's NY94. And the reason I took off from that particular little strip is if you were to do a search for this particular airplane, the ones that you would find that are still functioning and doing airplane flights uh, fly out of this airplane. Okay, now there is some jumping in the image there and that is actually the recording i'm also testing out the new side quest app not on the headset but the pc version and it has some new recording settings and i don't see those jumps that you just saw a few seconds ago i don't see any of that if i'm not recording so please don't assume that that's the simulator because it is not it is a factor of the recording software Otherwise, if I'm not recording, there are no jumps, flips. It's extremely, extremely smooth. Smoother than what you're seeing here in the video. But I wanted to kind of use this plane for a couple reasons. One, well, it's a big radio plane. It's third party, so it hasn't really been conformed to the latest SIM update, which hasn't been released because it's in beta. So to me, I, I find that to be a pretty good test of the SIM update to fly it with a third party. Two, I wanted something that would provide a really good open cockpit because I wanted to fly low just like this and look to see uh, tears tree, uh, are the trees tearing? Is there any kind of weird artifacts? Are they not really defined well You know, in the ground as, as well? I'm looking at that as well. So I wanted something that could go low and slow and give me a real good view of the landscape and this plane really is good for this so again sim update 10 beta the latest release which was pushed out to the beta testers just within the last couple of days it's 1.27.13.0 so far it's a fantastic update i'm not seeing any issues but again i didn't see any with the other one either so I can't say if things are corrected because I did not experience them, but the overall frame rate, smoothness, quality, everything seems to be just getting better and better. I haven't really modified any of my changes. Um, I have been playing a little bit with the NVIDIA control panel, the vertical sync uh, settings, and I'm just trying to see if any of those help or don't help or what, but uh, yeah, so. Big radios, Newport 17, awesome plane, probably going to do a full review at some point, even though it's been out of what for a while, and I know there are some out there already. Uh, latest Sim Update 10 beta version, 
also working very, very well. And also the side quest, the latest release of the side quest desktop app, which uh, is version, uh, what version is it? See if I can find what version this is. <laughs> I'm not sure how I should be able to see the version that's easy here. But they've added some new settings, which is really nice. And, uh, yeah, it is. I can't find the version number. That's funny. The older one, it was right up front, but I don't see it now. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the skies.